What's going on, Filmheads? I am reviewing The Family today, directed by Luke Besson, Luke Besson, whatever. Robert De Niro is in a mob movie. Yeah, that, that never happens. Uh, Robert De Niro returns as this, uh, he comes, he's a dad, he's got a family, he's been mixed up at some uh, bad apples in the past, whenever he was a former, former mob agent or whatever he was doing, killing people. And uh, now he's got people looking after him, so he's in the witness protection program, and Tommy Lee Jones help him, helps him out, so every time he messes up, he's like, you messed up, stop. And uh, Tommy Lee Jones is, uh, he plays an old, he's, he, he looks really, really old in this movie, and uh, he, he does a great job as always. Robert De Niro. Now, you saw my little small skit in the beginning of this review, and whenever I said Robert De Niro is pretty much mailing in his performance, and in all honesty, he wasn't necessarily mailing it in, but, you know, it was just like, he showed up at work, and he was Robert De Niro as an old guy. You know, it wasn't anything, you really can't tell that he was actually trying. It was just him being Robert De Niro. Is that bad? Not necessarily, but it's it's just fine. He's not going to win an Oscar, but he's definitely not going to, uh, like, he's not going to get any hate for it. He was good. Robert De Niro is always great. Uh, I love the guy. But the problem with the movie is the story and the, um, what do you call it, the investment in the characters. The only reason I was rooting for Robert De Niro's character is because he's Robert De Niro. I didn't see him as any other person other than Robert De Niro on screen. To get a little bit more in-depth de with the film, he's got a family. He's got a wife and two kids, a, a daughter and a son. And the son is really intelligent, you know, towards the end of the movie, he pretty much just rules the school over, you know, he's got a, he, he's got a, some friends, he's got some hookups, he's got a bunch of people where he, he, he makes money, you know, he's just over, he's just really smart, he knows the ins and outs of things, and the daughter, you know, of course, you're gonna, there's gotta be some sort of romance in the movie, so, we see the daughter, and uh, she's on Glee, uh, I can't remember her actress name, I'm, apologize, and uh, she meets this teacher, sort of this upcoming teacher who's a little bit older than her, and uh, you know, she loves him, and the birds and the bees and all that stuff happens, and you know, we get small little subplots with the wife as well, and there's, there's, there's stuff going on, but it's just like, do I really care about the outcome of these events? Yes and no. Like I said, the main plot with uh, Robert De Niro's character is interesting, but I mean, I just don't really care with what's going to happen, you know, it, the the only reason I'm, I'm like, oh, I'm rooting for this guy is because he's Robert De Niro, but if it was played by anyone else who I have no idea who the actor is, by an unknown actor, I wouldn't care because the character isn't likable, the character isn't really that, uh, you know, uh, you can't really relate to him in any way, you really don't have any reason to cheer for him, he doesn't seem like a really good guy because uh, he kills a lot of people, and uh, here's the thing, the, the movie is a dark uh, comedy, and it sort of revolves around an everyday life of an ex-mob member, and, you know, they've they, they've got this subplot with plumbing I won't go into, because I don't want to spoil anything, but whenever, but whenever something just doesn't go Robert De Niro's way, he decides to torture the person, and it's, uh, it's funny, but it, it happens a lot, and eventually you just get these scenes that are clearly there, just so you can see Robert De Niro, I don't know, drag someone by a car. And uh, that's my next problem, is there are some things in this movie that could have been cut because it's a two hour long movie. Walking out of it, it feels more like a, feels more like a three hour long movie, and it drags, and it drags, and it drags, and there's a bunch of filler scenes that d doesn't really need to be there. I think there's a plumbing plot that they sort of focus on a little bit too much, and you know, there's just a lot, a lot of filler that you don't really need. And it, it's, it, it's really boring sometimes, you know, some of the setup was really boring, and throughout throughout the movie, I was seeing these scenes, and I was like, this is, this should be a lot more fun than it really is. It is funny, but it's not like knee-slapping, gut-wrenching funny. There's just some clever little remarks that you're like, oh, that, that was funny, and then, yeah, you do chuckle a little bit, but it's not, it's not consistent laughs, that's the thing. 
you're not consistently laughing through the whole movie, and I guess that gets into a little bit of a, uh, the movie is a little messy with tone, does it want to be a dark drama, does it just want to be a dark uh, comedy, what does it want to be, and I, I, I found it self-struggling a lot, uh, trying to be a comedy, a, uh, a dark comedy, a normal comedy, and then a dark drama, and, and it's just all over the place, it's, it's a little messy, you know, uh, it, the scenes are cut really odd because at one point this person's here, and then the next scene this person's here, I don't know, it's, I really can't explain it, you just really have to see it, but overall, I, w I would really not recommend going to the movies to see this, I would get it on Redbox, maybe see it on cable, I wouldn't pay a ticket price for this movie, you don't need to see it, it's too long, it's a little boring, it is funny, there are some fun moments with Robert De Niro and his, you know, him being Robert De Niro, it's fun, but overall, it's just not that, uh, you just don't get really invested, you don't really care, it's funny, uh, fun, but, uh, that's pretty much it. That's all I really have to say about this movie. Uh, it's not that great. I'm battling between scores. I'm going to go 2.5 out of 5 for, um, what's the name of this movie? The <laughs> Family. Uh, yeah. Uh, 2.5 out of 5. So this week, we got a busy week coming up. We're going to have another podcast this week uh, talking about some, I don't know, uh, the subject of the podcast is still being talked about. And I'm also going to have my review for Rush a two or three week early review for Rush, I think it's two, but um, I'll have that up for you guys on Wednesday, uh, we've got a lot of stuff coming up there, uh, during this week, and uh, it's going to be fun guys, uh, what, what did you think of The Family, are you excited for it, if you have seen it, what are your thoughts on it, I know I'm sort of late with it, but uh, who cares, it's still a weekend, comment in the comment section, and give this video a thumbs up, and subscribe if you haven't, as always guys, I'm the Modern Film Critic, signing